I was thinking we should split up and cover as much of the facility as we can, unless you have a better idea. This is obviously an Alachi facility. What I know about them comes from the Romulan Republic's databases, but I should be able to learn more as we examine this location. The air here is suitable for the Alachi, which means that you may find breathing difficult. I, of course, do not have that problem. If you have an environmental suit, or even some sort of rebreather, you will be fine. If you don't, keep an eye out for something that could help filter out the toxins. Iconian Gateway on New Romulus. The Solonate kidnap victims through subspace for their brutal experiments. If they are somehow connected to the Alachi and the Vodwar, this is beginning to make more sense. If I had to guess, there must be a stasis room nearby. We should find it and rescue anyone in there who can still be saved. It looks as if they are converting their captives into more Alachi. If my readings are correct, there are several individuals here who have only just begun the conversion process. We can save them if we beam them back to your ship.
Transport this Talaxium directly to Sigbay. This is no way for a proud Klingon warrior to go out. We'll patch him up immediately. Good. You found a breathing apparatus. That should take care of that nasty cough. Hazari, stay calm. We'll get you the medical attention you need. We're transporting you to a Romulan ship in order. You're going to be fine. You'll be back on duty before you know it. Want to beam up? A Kazon? Even the Borg won't assimilate the Kazon. Everything will be fine, Mr. Jure. We'll beam you directly to Sebe. Well, the Solene are definitely involved. I believe I have everything I need from this area. We need to keep moving if we hope to meet up with Commander Jaron. The door is unlocked now. We should keep going.
attacked. I'd say that's exactly what it is. And they've just had a breakout. Whoever it was, they used our arrival as the distraction they needed to make their move. I'll keep looking for more information, but I hope the escape is a friendly. A prison break? Maybe I should go back to the ship. Fascinating reading, if you ever have a few dozen hours to spare. If Gaul and the infected Vadwa were communicating with this station, it stands to reason that this may be the facility where the Bluegill implantation takes place. We should definitely investigate further. If we can find the implantation room, then I should be able to analyze their equipment and gather more information. I don't believe it. The empirical evidence is right in front of me but I'm actually having difficulty processing this information. This tech, this whole facility, it's Tyconian. There are variations on the norm, of course, because of the Solene and Alachi influence, but I see distinct signs of their presence throughout the facility. The Iconians, as we know them, rarely reveal themselves. The only known interaction with an Iconian in modern history took place on Kronos, when Wait, you were there! I don't need to explain that situation again. As I was saying, the Iconians don't like to act directly. They use servitor races, like the Alachi and the Solene, to cause chaos in their name. And the neural parasites, they've bioengineered. Rather like the founders created the Gem Hadar, but sophisticated enough to control another species, and with much less free will. The parasites are a weapon. When Voyager revived the Vodwar, their technology was outdated compared to what other powers in the Delta Quadrant had at that time. Even the Kazan outlived them. But now, Vodwar technology is cutting edge. The only way they could have advanced so far, so fast, was by allying themselves with someone else. With the Iconians. The Vodwar got their tech upgrades from them, but they also got the new the Parasites gave the Vodwar power, but they gave the Iconians control. They were ultimately the ones pulling the strings. This entire war has been against an enemy we didn't even see. This is more like a factory than a laboratory.
Some of this technology is ancient, but it's quite advanced. avoid any potential contact with the prisoner? I think I've seen enough combat. showing up when you're least expected. Like you could use a hand. And now we have their leaders.
Sela! I should kill you where you stand. It would be justice for all the lives you've destroyed. And if you do, you'll never learn about the Iconians. I've been here for months. I've seen enough to know you need my help. Fine. You interrogate him. I might get a little carried away. But she returns with me to the Lisette when you're finished here. Zila is a prisoner of the Romulan Republic. Your government can go through official channels if they want to talk to her. You and this Zila person seem to have some history. I'll leave you to speak to her. Not so fast. You have the weapons, but I have the information. If you want to learn what I know, you'll need to keep those Romulan rebels under control. You've stumbled into something much greater than you're prepared to handle. I'm the best ally you have. I assume you already know where you are. Both the Alachi and the Solene serve the Iconians. The Alachi are their warriors, and the Solene are their scientists. They're the ones who created those creatures implanted into the Vaudoir. Hakiv joined the Iconians out of faith. He thought the Iconians would create an empire he could rule. That did not go as planned. This time, the Iconians wanted to control their puppets. When the Vaudoir asked for strength to defeat their enemies, the Iconians gave them the parasites. The Vaudoir had strength, but also strings. Strings that have now been cut. I'm sure you had something to do with that. All three of you working together? The world has changed in my absence. Or were the Vaudois that much of a threat to the Alpha Quadrant? That explains some things. I'd love an escort back to the world at large, but I have a feeling you have some questions first. I'll answer what I can. You can believe what you want. How important is that, really? I worked with the Iconians because, at the time, I thought it was the best thing for my people. After we lost the homeworld, we were scattered, starving. A shadow of what we once were. What were we supposed to do? Beg the Federation? Or the Klingons for scraps? Pathetic! The so-called Romulan Republic has made their way. But they did it at the cost of Romulan dignity. We are not refugees. We are Romulan. We needed a strong leader to bind us together again, and I knew I could be that leader. The Iconians were a means to an end. They gave us strength at a time when we were at our weakest. Had I known what Hakiv, what he and the Iconians did to our world, perhaps I would not have made the same decision. Dwelling on the past is meaningless. I am here, and so are you. Today, our goals are aligned. We both want to stop the Iconian advance. You need me. I'll answer what I can. You can believe what you want. Ah, the crew. The Alachi took them one by one and turned them into those things. Revolting. If I had known that was what they were doing with the captives from the colonies, I would have... Yes, you were asking about the crew. A handful of us were still alive when the station went on alert. We took a chance and made our escape. They died, nobly, as Romulans protecting their empress. I will remember their sacrifice. I'll answer what I can. You can believe what you want. I honestly don't know. Why would they share their plans with a prisoner? That may make me less valuable in your eyes, but don't be fooled. I know more about the Iconians' operations than they realize. Will I be taken into your custody? Or will I be left to Tiaru's tender mercies? Very well. It's not like I have a choice in the matter, do I?
Empress Sila in our brig. When she was taken by the Iconians last year, many of my people thought she would get away with her heinous crimes against the galaxy. With her in my brig, I am happy to know that is no longer a possibility. Of course, I understand that the Romulan Republic's claim on her is not unique. Her crimes are against all of the Alpha Quadrant. To that end, I will ensure that she be made available to all the Alliance leaders for interrogation and debriefing. Well, that wasn't exactly what I'd call a walk in the park. At least we know exactly how the Iconians were controlling the bottom line. And you've certainly put a crimp in their plans. On the upside, as a photonic life form, I'm immune to any attempts at subversion by neural parasites. I'll see to the care of the captives we rescued. In the meantime, it sounds like you and the Romulan Republic Command have a lot to talk about. Sela certainly has a story to tell, but should we believe all of it? I'll put a bug in Admiral Janeway's ear about the situation. That was a joke, by the way. You're going to be busy. Don't overdo... No, who am I kidding? Command officers never take their doctor's advice. Just remember that you're not in this alone. Good luck. I suspect things are starting to get interesting. Sela and the Iconians? That I did not expect. It's a lot to take in. And while I'm sure the former Empress has some interesting stories to tell, I know the Romulan Republic will want her to answer for her crimes against her people. There will be some tricky back-channel negotiations before this all shakes out. I'll keep you posted as much as I can.